What's going on guys? It's Mac here from Cryptar Staking, your number one validator and YouTube content creator for Aleph Zero Blockchain. Alright guys, if you're making videos for Aleph Zero and you think you're number one, well, you probably are. I'm just there and I just like to call myself number one. It helps me boost my ego. But anyways, in today's video, we are going to be talking about Darkiverse. There's been a huge update. They released the roadmap and they've also re released a questing system that you can actually start right now. And I'm going to actually introduce you guys to it and show you what's going on there, show you how to go through the, the, the application and, you know, get these experience points so that you guys can make sure you get the really cool NFT when it launches on Aleph Zero Liminal here in the near future, actually. It seems like the stage one is coming out soon. So yes, they did release the roadmap. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the roadmap and see what's coming. So as you guys can see, obviously, the roadmap looks very, very promising. Uh, there's, they've been thinking a lot about it, diving deep, really deep into the details about what they're going to release and how they're going to release it. It's a very, very, I would say, novel idea trying to go ahead and launch this metaverse with an economic and a sort of really deep economic aspect. And it's going to take a lot of, there's going to be a lot of hit, hit and miss, I'm sure. And they're going to need a lot of feedback from the community to make sure that, you know, everything works properly and the, the that the uh, blockchain game can't be gamed, that a lot of money can't purchase, you know, the big NFTs so that they end up winning the game. It's going to be skill based and they're really trying to focus on sort of the longevity of the game, not just like, you know, like a three hit, um, hit, hit, hit and miss or sorry, a, a three month uh, bubble kind of bursting thing like Axie Infinity was. So, yeah. In this following year, they want to release the first playable multi-version location, District 1, which will reveal our for our vision for Darkiverse that will demonstrate quests and storylines in the world of Babylon, along with its history and factions inhabiting it. In that first location, D1, we'll also introduce the first elements of the Darkiverse economy, such as token use and acquiring NFTs. For us, it's also a way to prototype new solutions in-game including game economy, mechanics, and interactions in the game. At the same time, the production of the D1 is also work going towards the full version of the game. So let's go take a look at the different stages here. Stage 1 is the pre-production. Stage 2, development, art, and Babylon. And it looks like they're actually pretty much finished with stage 2 and stage 3 here. So stage 3 is world building number 1, art number 2, and game economy. So this started in basically June last year and the next stage stage four is world building story design faction descriptions quests game design art 3d and game engine and game uh and economy and blockchain they're still working on the economy at this point in time so right now they are currently working on stage five which is the world building life in babylon story design quests game design art 3d and game engine gameplay multiplayer config music and F SF fx uh, game economy, smart contracts, uh, community launch, Darkiverse Discord. So basically they got the Dar Darkiverse Discord launched and I was actually looking that for, for that for a long time and I just realized they launched it. So yeah, you guys can jump in there. I'll leave a link in the description to this video. Now I'm trying to read everything out. So if any of you guys are watching and you're doing something else, you can, you can keep your YouTube app open and just keep listening and not have to worry about missing anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and say everything. It's probably going to be another uh, 10 minute spiel about the Darkiverse. All right, guys, and pretty much what's coming up next, stage six, is a lot of the continuation of what they've been doing, just kind of uh, making more art, 3D and game engine, gameplay, multiplayer config, music and SF, uh, SFX, game economy, crew season two. And it looks like here, uh, there's going to be a playable demo in stage nine. So stage nine, it looks like quarter one, 2024. So that's next year. Uh, January to March. So like I was saying, next year, the first playable uh, sort of District 1 of the game will be launched. Now, one thing to note is that right now they are looking for artists and they're kind of, you know, using the, the Zealy, Zealy platform to go ahead and try and get good artists to start participating so they can get experience points. But if you're really serious about becoming an artist for uh, the Darkerverse, 
I'll go ahead and leave uh, the the team's email address in the description to the video as well, so you guys can reach out to them. I know a lot of you guys on Tezos are uh, really big into art, and you're really great artists, and if you're looking for another sort of job on the side or full-time job, I'm sure that the Darkerverse would be interested in, in hiring more artists. All right, guys. And, yep, this keeps talking about the stage, the next stages, which is the Darkerverse district. And after that, they'll just keep creating more districts and DLC, and the full game production will come at the, in the future. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look into some of the other stuff going on here. Um, the introduction to the Darkerverse. This was released, actually, on February 16th, but I have not covered it in the channel. So I'll just cover a few of the main points in this article. Introduction to the Darkerverse. So they want to focus on immersion and the quality of experience. They want to create a, an immersion experience where there's a lot of risky choices and you can gain a lot and lose a lot just like in real life. So goals and achievements, they only matter when the risk is failure and real. So they want to make sure if you fail something that you're actually going to have some sort of detriment. And if you die, then you're going to lose some of your stats, you're going to lose some of your items, some of your experience. But they also want to make sure that this whole system is very transparent and original so they're trying to create a whole new sort of economic system based on nfts which as we all know could be a quite a game changer in the world of gaming but nobody's really implemented it right yet and they're really working to be the first sort of gaming industry uh, well, game that's actually implementing nfts in a way that isn't scammy uh isn't uh, pyramid schemy and has actually really fun to interact with and collect uh the nfts so currently we're working on the first playable location, which will be available to a large yet limited group of users. So I'm guessing these users will probably be the people that are participating most in the Zeely competition, which I'm going to talk about uh, later in the video. So make sure you guys go ahead and pay attention because the end of the video actually has a lot of really important information today. I normally don't try and you know, spam my, my uh, YouTube watchers to watch the full video, but in this case, it's very important to actually see the end of the video because that's where the... Well, that's where the really juicy part is. But in order to understand that, you have to watch the first part. So we pay most attention to protecting users' privacies. privacy. This will be possible thanks to Liminal. Like I've mentioned in my previous videos, Liminal is kind of like a layer two sort of, or it's a layer zero on top of uh, on top of Aleph Zero. And it'll, it's a privacy framework that allow uh, users to basically interact and do transactions without giving away their I with uh, giving away their not their IP address their uh, their their blockchain address. So it allows them to kind of buy NFTs, sell NFTs, do all this stuff without giving away their blockchain ad address, which is a, a privacy feature. So a public uh, darker first white paper, something we've all been waiting for. It'll be coming out here in quarter three. So that looks like it'll be around by July, August, September timeframe. In the meantime, they'll be focused on building the fundamentals of the metaverse and introducing the dark, uh, darker verse universe to other people. Now, they're not creating a system, like I said, that rewards players that pay the most. We're exploring a completely new idea, a skill-based metaverse. So they want to make sure that people aren't just trying to game the system. There's not going to be a bunch of spam mints. They're going to make sure you do the work to get into it. And and uh, this kind of, well, the rest of this is, is, is important information, but I'm not going to cover it. It's not super important. Um, I just basically covered all the most important information from this article for you guys. So now we're going to jump into some of the other points in here. Okay. Uh, like I mentioned uh, before we jump into that, you guys can join them if you're an artist on Tezos or any other blockchain uh, that watches my channel. And, or you make music, uh, Aston Archer, I think uh, I was going to probably hit you up because he makes some really good kind of Darkerverse themed music. But yeah, join at nib at darkerverse.io and I'll leave a link to this in the description to the video uh, down below. So go ahead and uh, hit them up. Just uh, either say you came from Cryptstar's channel or you know just hit them up and ask them if they're looking to hire artists or musicians or yeah, basically, yeah, to go ahead and work for them. So let's go ahead and check out uh, the Zeely platform. And I just want to show you guys around before we go ahead and uh, jump into their articles. So Zeely platform is sort of a, a community-led marketing platform where you can give your community quests and they can earn points in-game. So basically they're leveling you up. And once you get to certain levels, they're going to give you an airdrop of one of these, uh, one of these sort of badges. And that'll be airdropped into your wallet. So you can either sell that to somebody else or you can actually use this badge to go ahead and, you know, get early access to the game or early or access to certain VIP areas of the game in the future. And that's the whole plan behind this. None of this is paid. This is all free. And I'll leave a link, an invite link, actually. I'm trying to get invites right now personally 
so that way I can get my points. So if you guys don't mind using my invite link, I'll leave it in the pin message as well as the description to the video. But yeah, you get uh, actual points if you go ahead and get invites via that. And then the invites, they have to actually uh, do a quest on ZLA themselves. And I think the first quest that you're required to do is you're required to... Um, it doesn't say here, but you're required to go ahead and connect to Discord, and I think it gives you like 150, 250 experience points. So you connect to the Darkiverse Discord, and then you get the first amount of experience points. Then all, a lot of other quests open up, and as you get more experience, more quests open up. So in order to actually get a lot of these quests, you need to level up, and in order to get to those levels, you have to get the invites. So I highly recommend trying to get invites. It's not as easy as it sounds, and yeah. So I'll leave my link I said in the description and the pin uh, message. Now let's go ahead and jump into more of what Zealy has to offer here. I think it's a really innovative marketing platform, uh, community-led marketing platform. And uh, they're really focusing on Darkiverse, it seems. I don't know what other projects they have necessarily, but they're doing a really good job with Darkiverse. They're splitting up the Darkiverse competitions or sort of seasons into you know, three parts. So season one, season two, and season three. And the point is to collect all the NFTs and get as much experience as possible and be the top winner. So skill equals rewards, just like we read in the earlier uh, documentation on, on the uh, Darkiverse. They really want to focus on not rewarding people who pay the most money. They want to reward people who get the most skill. So season one, the Dark Sovereign is in full swing and none of you want, would want to be left behind. All participants who complete the tasks and achieve the blood letter roll above during each season will receive a seasonal participation NFT, Spectral Shadow and Nightmare, which will be unique to each season and can never be obtained again in the game, making it rare and unique. At the end of each season, there are some cool rewards up for grabs. Here is what you can win in Season 1, The Dark Sovereign. The winner of Zealy Season 1 gets to claim the title of Dark Sovereign. So it'll be a title in the game that says Dark Sovereign. The only There'll only be one of these created in the whole of the game. The winner gets a customizable game character avatar made in collaboration with the Darkiverse team and their Discord username on the altar in the first location of Darkiverse. So that means you'll be one of the first people to get a custom made character in the Darkiverse and will be in possession of one of a kind item that cannot be obtained by anybody else in the game. Now the Spectral NFT, the top 100 players on the Zealy leaderboard will receive this rare and coveted NFT. So make sure you're bringing your A game. And the Shadow NFT, uh, the one with the Beast Roll, will receive a Shadow NFT. So pretty much, yeah, anybody with the, the one with the Beast Roll can receive the Shadow NFT. Nightmare NFT, everyone gets it if they have the Blood Letter Roll within Zealy. Uh, if you go ahead and take a look at Zealy, you can see I have the Devourer, the Blood Letter, the one with the Beast. So I'll be getting those three NFTs. And then I, the last one I could be fighting for right now is this, uh, the title, the Dark Sovereign. Also, the Spectral NFT I could try and get. So if I get top 100. So yeah, um, basically it's reset to zero at the start of each new season. So you have to really try hard. Uh, they don't carry over into the new season. So make sure you guys get in, get in now and try and get all the season one uh, passes. As it gets more popular, as season two progresses, more players will go ahead and jump in and it'll be much harder. And because this is a completely free thing to do, none of this requires any money, which is really cool. Uh, I think it's gonna be very popular with people from all around the world. And yeah, and uh, just one thing to note, guys, uh, the, the, the Darkiverse team, they are from Switzerland, so they, it is a Swiss company, so you don't have to worry about regulations shutting this down. There's no issues. They're working really closely with the Swiss government to make sure that they're following all the policies required by for NFT laws and everything, and I, I don't think there's like zero chance of this being a rug pull because the whole team has been doxxed. So I think it's definitely worth trying. It doesn't even cost any money to begin with. And they're really looking for people to help them build the storyline and create a large community around the Darkiverse. Anyways, guys, thank you for viewing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Of course, as usual, if you haven't already, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And also, you can follow me on Twitter. You can see it on there. Cripstar Mac is my Twitter handle. And if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave that down below. I always appreciate anything you guys have to say. Have a great weekend, guys, and peace out.